What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, back on IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. All right, we're going to talk about the, the woman I call the GOAT as far as video models, video vixens go, Gloria Velez. I know a lot of you may say Melissa Ford. You can split the baby down the middle if you want, no pun intended, um, but... I'm going to take Gloria Velez, but Melissa Ford is right there. You, you can't really give a, a wrong answer. So recently, Gloria Velez has been brought up, and you know, with the whole uh, Diddy, the, uh, the whole situations with Diddy and uh, P. Diddy bringing up, uh, come up on, bringing up, being brought up on sexual assault charges, uh, several sexual assault claims, um, and allegations or accusations. One of the claims is that P. Diddy and Aaron Hall, a famous R and B singer, both tag teamed the woman and art her. Now Aaron Hall is the baby father of Gloria Velez. He got with Gloria Velez when she was underage. And they had a child, I believe when she was 17, she had a child, Aaron Hall, and he was 33, 34 maybe, or 31, so she was, he was in his 30s, I believe. So she got bought into this. Gloria Velez was not asking to be bought into this, but when that came up, um, they started bringing up Gloria Velez's name because all these old interviews with Aaron Hall Started to circulate, started to recirculate. So Gloria Velez was born into this. Now, Jean Deal, as we know, is Diddy's former bodyguard. And he had made a comment during one of his interviews about Gloria Velez. Uh, you know, knowing, saying that Gloria Velez was, you know, around back then and she was. You know, I, I think he made a comment that that made Gloria believe that he said he had a conversation with Gloria Velez. Gloria then came out and said Gene Deal never had a conversation with her in his life. Right? Um, she basically was saying, leave me out of it. You know, uh, you're trying to use my name just to clout chase or what have you. You're trying to, whatever the case may be, get back in the mix or what have you. Gene then responded and said, he's got, if Gloria doesn't stop, um, he, he's got video of her wilding out back in the day. And this tipped Gloria off, you know, to the point where she had to say something. So this is Gloria Velez responding to Gene Deal, you know, allegedly. And whoever else was was around back then. And then she calls out her baby father, Aaron Hall. I'm going to say it's Jean Deal because she mentioned the word threatened. We're going to let you just hear Gloria Velez and we're going to come back and unpack it. Blessings, everyone. I want to thank everyone for the beautiful birthday shout outs, um, the poems. Um, I'm totally grateful to be 45. Um, I've come a long way. Um, I want to address something because uh, a lot of gossip has been brought up about me of my teenage years, actually. Um, I was actually thrown into this conversation. I had nothing to do with me. Um, it was my son's father, Aaron Hall, and Diddy, accusations of rape. And I am not Jane Doe. I am not legally taking anybody to court at this time. So with that said, um, so my teenage years, let's, let's, let's get into it a little bit. Um, at 14, I used to go to teen clubs like a lot of you guys have at my generation. They don't have that anymore. Um, so there was a lot of grooming going on at these teen clubs, right? Um, girls dancing, uh, they had dancing competition called booty contest and girls would win hundreds to thousands of dollars shaking their butt. And there would be a lot of adult men there. Okay, and they would push up on young women, um, telling them let's go on tour. So a lot of that was going on. And I end up one of them going on tour with DJ Laz, um, just so many get some crew, a lot of bass and freestyle music at the time. Initially, it was fun, uh, made money, helped out my family and went to school. So it was mostly weekends. 
and then some holidays. And then you go to the parties. And then that's when the real grooming started. You know, you see these adult women grooming these younger women too. So women are grooming these younger women. It's okay, This you're supposed to do this. This is how it's supposed to be done to get in the industry. So you got all these adults, 30s and up, you know, grooming these young women saying this is how it's supposed to be. So, so as a teenage child, we look up adults for guidance, right? So these adults are taking advantage of children. Yeah, we take accountability, but we're still learning. You know, I had nobody in my family that was in this business. I had no one telling me, you know, be aware of these demons, be aware of the creeps, be aware of these pedophile, you know, men and women. I had no guidance in that aspect at all. So when, you know, these agents, I mean, uh, what is it, ex-bodyguard, talks about that I was a manipulative 15, 16 year old with 30 year old men. You know, these demons tell on themselves. What were you doing um, when these girls were passing out and you were drugging them up? Um, these artists wasn't picking up the girls, it was the bodyguards that were picking up the girls and dumping them in the cars or in different rooms, right? So you're the savior, right, buddy? You was with all this, you was there with all the activity of rape and 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 people getting beat up but what was you doing you were just watching and being a good guy weren't you please get the fuck out of here you know it's it's insane that people nowadays point fingers at the person that's being abused i took accountability i didn't say anything to anybody you know i got out at 19 never looked back to any of these people that are talking about me they don't know me my 20s my 30s and now my 40s and they still have my name in their mouth when i was a teenager Listen to these demons saying that they got child porn of me when I was a teenager. They have drugged me. They have beat me up. They have belittled, dragged my name because I didn't want to obey. I didn't want to go back. I didn't want to be a part of them. Why are they so mad? They wrote books about me. They, they have songs, um, went on tour and radio and podcasts. And I said nothing. I said nothing. They're dragging me as a teenage girl in this industry that it, in this industry is just disgusting. You know, um, people talk about accountability. I took a lot of accountability, you know, um, as a child and after 19 and many times I wanted to take them to court or, you know, make them pay for what they've done to me. But I thought about their children. I thought about their careers. I'm always thinking about other people, you know, um, and I thought that I could just be hard and, and I, you know, surrounded myself with dudes that from the street and I felt safe with them and they protected me, made sure that they didn't touch me, made sure that I got my money. And that's how I survived in this industry, you know, um, with my son's father and people keep bringing that up. He was very abusive physically, emotionally. I mean, it was torture. Okay. So, um, you want to say I manipulated him, go look at some of his interviews. He tells on himself. Okay. And his songs, you know, um, when we were fighting in court for my son and he was little and I had a restraining order because of the, the harsh abuse that he was put upon me, my son started coming back with marks on his body. And then I took accountability and say, you know what? It's me who he wants. So when my son had sleepovers, I, went with my baby to protect my baby. And I would get beat instead of my baby getting hurt, you know, until I got rid of him. You know, I had to figure out a way. And in my book, I'm gonna explain in detail, you know, how I got him out of Florida, because he followed me down in Florida. His father sent me home because he knew that his son was going to kill me. A lot of shit that you guys have no idea what I've been through, you know, and I kept silent. And he still talked about me and wrote songs and <clears throat> it's a lot. And I just kept silent, you know, wishing they would just leave me alone. That's all I wanted. Just leave me the fuck alone. You know, I haven't seen these people since I was 19. And they dragged me through I was 20. They dragged me when I was 30. And now 40, I'll be fucking damned. So they're threatening me now. Listen, I'm not the one. To, I'm just not the one to fuck with. Enough's enough. Enough's enough dragging me. Enough's enough blaming me. I'm not here to change anybody's perception of me. I am who I am and I love me. You know, those who love me, love me. Those who don't, I can give two fucking shits. You know, but I'm not going to have people threatening me. That's it. You hurt me. I left you. I didn't want nothing to do. I never looked back and you're fucking mad. That's kind of obsession, isn't it? Sounds like an obsession that you keep bringing up my name. That has to stop. Are you going to push my hand?
And that was Gloria Velez, the GOAT, uh, responding to Gene Deal, you know, allegedly, or apparently you can say, um, Gene Deal, and calling out her baby father, Aaron Hall. Here's my take on everything. This is what I think. I think Gloria Velez um, was very just justified in coming out and saying, because Gloria Velez didn't ask to be brought into this. But that's the world of the, that we're living in now. That's the internet world. You know, people start digging up old videos that's been out there for 10 years plus, And they start saying, Gloria Velez tried to tell us about her baby father. And, you know, on the Aaron Hall video when he's saying, you know, Puffy see me fuck before. They're saying, oh, this didn't age well. Oh, let's ask Gloria Velez how bad he was. You know, so I'm not really sure of completely. I did hear Gene Dill talking about Gloria. I did hear him say, I got videos of her wilding out. If she don't quit, I'm, I'll, I'll release the videos or something like that. So that's what she was talking about as far as the threats go. Um, and she it, did a good job explaining, very transparent, about getting out of the business at 19 years of age. Like she got out of it. Now, that doesn't mean she stopped doing music videos. I think that she was still doing music videos after 19. But... Uh, she basically said, you know, she got out of, you know, that world from under, you know, I guess dancing as far as with, with Luke and stuff like that. Um, as far as Gene Deal goes, like I said, I see a lot of Gene Deal's videos and she brings up a very good point. Now I have been, I was in the entertainment business over 21 and a half years. I've seen a lot of shit. I've seen a lot of scenarios and I know how bodyguards and assistants and boys act. Boys of the celebrity. And she brought up a good point to Gene Deal and to the other bodyguards. You can't act as though like you were the savior and you just can, did not condone what was going on if you allowed these girls to get drugged and, and, and allowed these, uh, re these artists to drug their drink or put, give them molly or whatever the case may be. You can't now sit back and you don't get a chance now to sit back and say, oh, yeah, you know, I remember when he used to uh, drug them and, and put uh, drugs in their champagne. Like Mark Curry is saying, and, and Gene Deal had, had made a con. What? Well, what? Why did you allow that to happen? <laughs> you allowed that to happen uh, because you were working for them, but you don't get a chance now to come out and act as though like you were innocent in the situation. Those girls could, if they wanted to, bring y'all in, or you can get called in by authorities. Now, I don't wish that on nobody. But Gloria Velez brings up a very good point. Y'all are now, because you're no longer rocking with Diddy or Aaron Hall or whoever else, now y'all are quick to try to oust them and say, yeah, they used to do this, that, and other. But you sat there and allowed them to do that. Right? You sat there and allowed them to do that. So she brings up a good point in that. And I, I like I said, I've been around these dudes. The bodyguards, not saying Gene Deal, but in the case with Tupac. Tupac was smashing uh, the girl, Aisha Jackson, whatever her name is. What happens? He leaves out. Now his boys want to smash the same thing Tupac smashing. You still see it here. You know, Drake is out with girls. Who do you see on, on tour? For His father was out there. You know what I'm saying? So you don't think that Drake Pops was trying to smash something that Drake was smashing? You don't think that Drake Pops, there's girls out there to be like, oh, if, if I got to get to Drake, I'll fuck his Pops, his, his cousin, whoever, his bodyguard, whoever else. The bodyguard used to be the one back in the day that the girls had to go through before they got to the star. I know all this. 
Not saying it was Gene Deal, but but it was almost all of them. So it may be Gene Deal's exception to the rule. Who knows? But you mean to tell me after all the time and access that Gene Deal had and some of these other bodyguards had, you want to tell me Gene Deal never indulged in none of them willing women? Maybe he didn't. He's got a lot of willpower if he hasn't. But I know I have mostly every star that I've encountered did. But can't say that wasn't there. If Gene Dill says he never touched none of the women that, that they were messing with or none of the women that, that came backstage or whatever the case may be, if he said he never did it, he never did it. Who might have said he did? But he would definitely be the exception to the rule. But Glory Velez responds back to Gene Deal, calls out Aaron Hall. Y'all let me know what y'all think down below. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network.